Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest and tricep muscles. Going to start with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on the each side, followed by a deep squat. Now, while doing the greatest stretch, you have to ensure that you hold the position at least a couple of seconds, not you don't have to necessarily hold it for 10 or 15 seconds, just a couple of seconds at the lowest point at the highest point now if you don't prefer to do this particular stretch for any reason you may also choose your own uh, option of dynamic stretching there are multiple ways to stretch your hips your lower body your upper body this is just happens to be a compound movement that's the reason why i perform it easier to do in one go now for the deep squat as i mentioned earlier and in all my videos mandatory to sit in the deep squat at least for a few seconds every day if possible even for a few minutes to ensure good amount of hip mobility and once done with those we can start with our exercises now for my first exercise i started with a chest press now this is not something of my preference but since all the benches in my gym were really busy or occupied I had to stick with this because I wanted to start my workout without wasting any time. Now, if you have this particular equipment in your gym, go ahead and do it on this. Otherwise, you can just do the regular incline or the flat bench press. Now, with this particular equipment, it's still a learning curve for me. So I was figuring out at what angle is the best way to get the maximum amount of adduction in my chest. Because remember, the path is fixed here. It's an equipment, so I can't really change much other than changing my grip so as you can see i have started with a little bit wider grip and then i switched to a little bit neutral grip to see if it is a better focus but thankfully and fortunately everything worked out well i had a good amount of muscle pump and good amount of blood flow yes i had to just tweak small small uh, positions in terms of pushing my chest forward holding my arms in a particular way or gripping the equipment in a particular way and i think this would differ from individual to individual so it's always preferred to try it once see where you get the maximum amount of adduction where you can perfectly imitate a regular bench press with dumbbells and in that particular grip i would prefer you to do the sets now for when it comes to the sets i have done three sets with uh, drop set every set with two drops wherein i started with at least 20 repetitions 15 to 20 repetitions and once i was done i switched the weight or just brought the weight a little bit down and went on to do as many repetitions as possible in the best possible grip so yes a learning curve but still got my job done now post completing our chest press work i moved on to the tricep bit wherein again the regular the old the best tricep extensions with the barbell behind your head now here again i have done three sets 20 repetitions but i also added a failure set to it wherein every set after completing my 20 repetitions i brought the barbell slightly over my head did the regular skull crushers for as many repetitions as possible before putting the weight down this is just to overload my muscle as much as possible in the shortest period of time the reason is that i want i was in a hurry i wanted to get as much work as possible done without doing multiple exercises or taking multiple breaks so yes this is one way to go ahead and do that so yes, as you can see switch to a regular skull crusher and did as many repetitions as possible again three sets 20 regular behind the head tricep extensions followed by regular skull crushers now if for any reason you are unable to do both of them together you can always take a break in between it's absolutely fine but remember that would take a little bit more time for you to complete your exercises we have to ensure our tricep is always in a stretched position because that's the best space where we can train our arms in a stretched position or any other muscle for that matter of uh, for that concern now post completing these i moved on to cable crossovers here i this time i've set the cable a little bit higher so it was coming top down motion i was pushing on a little bit of the upper chest so here when you set up the cable make sure you don't set it up extremely high also just set it up enough so that you get that incline motion and the cable should always or preferably remain in line with your elbows that's how i feel i get the best amount of adduction and least amount of or at least 
slightly lesser amount of shoulder front delt involvement your shoulders will still kick in your triceps will still kick in that's fine but we want them to kick in less we want our chest to do the majority of the work and as you can see here in the close-up every repetition i take my arms across in a slow and steady manner and get complete full range of adduction full squeeze three sets 20 repetitions will be challenging don't take high amount of weight i don't see the necessity why you need to take extremely heavy weights in a cable crossover machine here our focus is controlled quality reps under tension so just the weight which you need to push yourself is more than sufficient the break could be 45 to 60 seconds as you recover as you feel better your chest will be pumping good after completing those we move on to our last exercise yes last exercise we are going to do finish off with cable tricep extensions this time i prefer to do it seated also to show you that we can do this in a seated manner also we need not always be standing and when you're seated you need not set up the cable extremely low you can set up just around your hip height or just near your lower back because it's easy that way to just grab the rope and turn around if you set it too low it's hassle so you can just always be comfortable and even at that height you can see the cable is still always under tension even at the lowest point my wrist reaches where my tricep is absolutely stretched and remember that's what we are focusing on training our triceps in a stretched position so that's one more reason why i love this exercise because i can get most out of it in a very easy manner and while being seated i don't really have to you know control or use a lot of my core stability to stay steady go a little bit heavier a lot of advantages but nothing wrong with doing it standing also this is just another option of or the another way of doing it in a comfortable manner you can yes of course take the bench a little bit farther ahead if you feel you want a little bit more stretch and that's it we are done with the exercises bit we are going to finish off with a simple static stretch wherein we take a couple of lightweight dumbbells you don't have to take extremely heavy dumbbells put yourself in a fly position and hold there maybe 45 to 60 seconds as long as possible feeling the stretch in your chest muscles you should feel that chest muscles getting stretched out as much as possible blood flow great way to finish off our workout now there are multiple ways to stretch your chest so this is not the only option this is one of the options you can also follow it up by a vertical hang as you prefer to do so or as i have done in my previous videos that's it we are done for the day Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated. Thank you once again for watching my videos. I will see you in the next video, in the next workout. Till then, have a great day.